Bowser's big lava power party on Bowser's lava layer. This is the boss level, I guess, for World 2. Um, kind of a longer level. One of the longest videos of the entire guide, probably. So they introduced a new mechanic where you have to grab onto these gravity stars, I guess. Um, <laughs> oh man, you can make all sorts of your mama jokes. Has her own gravitational pull and stuff like that with stuff like that. There's a, there's a level later on in the game where you're grappling onto a large honeybee that has her own gravitational pull. I'll save those jokes for then. Anyway, I figured this was an appropriate level to get into some questions, some emails that I got. Uh, Kahi, Ka, Kahil, K A H I L, asked, uh, "What did I think of the game? And more importantly, did I do I think it really deserved a 10? Um, this game has been getting, it's got a 98 on Metacritic right now, which is absolutely insane. Like on Metacritic, that's just." Like, the average game on Metacritic, it's not between 0 and 100. It's between, like, 75 and 95. So, when a game gets above or below any of those numbers, it's very notable. Um, I don't necessarily think that... I don't know. Like, there's so many good games out these days. It's hard to say that, oh, this game did or didn't deserve the score that it gets, but... Fundamentally, this game is pretty amazing. Uh, this, the Comet Metal is on top of this swamp, and I'm just trying to get him to fall over so I can jump on his back and then do a backflip jump and a spin right off on top of him. Anyway, like, <laughs> this game is great. There's no crazy... There's no, like, major flaws in this game that make me think it does not deserve a great score. Uh, it doesn't... Like, there's so many games out there that just have, like, one major mechanic about it broken that make me want to throw my controller across the room. This game doesn't have that, which is uh, commendable. Kind of like Alan Wake, I would say. Like, there's nothing in that game that made me want to destroy something, but that game, Alan Wake, had very boring enemy types, whereas this game, a lot of different enemy types, a lot of different objectives, and it was probably, this game's probably more challenging than Alan Wake. Um, there's no difficulty setting on this game, but I die a lot more in this game and end up replaying levels a lot more in this game than Alan Wake. Uh, just run by those hammer bros. Uh, jump on top of this flagpole uh, like Harvey Danger and get that extra little health boost for this final boss. Uh, whether or not it deserved a perfect score, I, I'm not one of the people that thinks that a perfect score means a perfect game. I just think that a, like a 5 out of 5 or a 10 out of 10 means it's a good game and the reviewer highly recommends it. I would highly recommend this game. If I was on Metacritic, I would give this game a 5 out of 5 because I do highly recommend it. I think that at the price that this game is, like, I've seen it on Amazon for like 40 bucks within a month of the game coming out. At that price, the game, you can't go wrong. It's a great co-op game. It's great for two people to play with. Um, and... Like, there's so many other piece of trash $60 games out there that, like, you like this game is going to give you a ton of value for your money which is what i'm really about like frustration frustration level as a hardcore gamer and amount of hours spent and value for your dollar um maybe i should talk about the boss a little bit here what he does is he throws down three meteors meteors and then punches the ground which catapults the meteors into the uh, into the air and then you can jump on one of the meteors and uh, do a little stomp on it to punch it right at him. And you do that three times and you kill him. Uh, a little trick to make it work a little bit smoother, a little bit faster, is if you're standing on the meteor as he punches the ground, you will rise up with the meteor. So you don't have to kind of get that weird camera angle jump. That's a terrible way of describing it, but if you've played this, you know what I mean. Like sometimes you'll be holding a direction, think you're going to be jumping at it, but you don't hit it as precisely as you'd like, 
and uh, just standing on it kind of removes that um, oh error percentage error differential ah there's a margin of error that's the word I'm looking for margin of error it removes that margin of error if you're just standing on the meteor that's sitting on the ground uh, so you hit him three times and you get the special star to move on to the next level